This video is going to briefly show you how to use Google Docs for collaborative writing. Google Docs is a free online suite of productivity tools similar to Microsoft Office. There is an editor for creating documents similar to Word, for creating spreadsheets similar to Excel, for creating presentations similar to PowerPoint, as well as for creating forms and drawings. Now to access it, you might still have a link that says Docs or Documents up in this top black bar. As of yesterday, though, Google updated it and is now calling it Google Drive. It's the same thing, but for the most part, it just means that you have more storage for your documents, and it's still free, which is excellent. So you want to click on either the, doc the link that says Documents or Drive up in this top black bar. So as you can see, all of my documents and folders would be down here in this central column. I use Google Docs for almost all of my Office editing needs. Some people prefer the interface and say Microsoft Office or OpenOffice. That's just a personal decision. I find that Google Docs works just as well in most situations. And it also has some really excellent differentiating features, um, specifically around sharing and collaboration. So that's what I'd like to show you now. I'm going to go ahead and create. And you can see all the different types of things that you can create here. I'm going to go ahead and click document since we're talking about collaborative writing and this looks just like any other basic office editor so I'm gonna go ahead and click on my title and give it a new title and I'm just gonna click in the document and I can type here if I wanted to highlight something and change the font or make it bold or give it a different color I could do that same way I would do that in any other text editor now where it really differentiates itself is its sharing features. So if I click share, you see this initial share menu. Right now it's private and only I can see it. If I hit change, I can make it public so anyone on the internet can see it. Search engines can find it. Or I could change that to anyone with the link. It's still public, but search engines can't find it. People can only get to it if you give them the direct link to it. And you can even granularly control the permissions. So right now, anyone with the link could see it, and they can only view it. I could change that so they can leave comments on it too, or they can even edit the document. So I'm going to leave it on private for now. The way I normally share it with my students or my colleagues is where it says add people. I type in their email address. If they don't have a Google account, it'll ask them to make one before they can edit the document. So I'm going to go ahead and type in one of my alternate email addresses so I can show you how the sharing works. So I've shared it with myself and right now the person I shared it with can also edit the document which is what I want. So I'm going to hit done. Now I'm going to bring that up on my other computer. Now you'll see it should say one view, other viewer up here. If I click here, it'll tell me who is looking at it. And if I wanted to have a conversation about the document before we actually change anything, we could do that. So for example, if I'd written my introduction and I wanted to get feedback from someone on what they thought about it, they could, I could ask them a question. And then that person could then go over to his or her computer and answer that. And then the record of our conversation will be over here, similar to an instant message uh, application. So I'm going to press the triangle to close that. What's even more impressive or interesting to me is that I can see exactly where everybody in the group's mouse is if they have the document open. And as they type, every time they press a letter or backspace, as they're, I can see everything immediately and in real time. Now, as a coach of young writers, one other feature that's really helpful is the revision history in the file menu. What this does is it lets me see their writing at different points in time. I can see the progression of their thoughts over, uh, in the progression through the writing process, which allows me to help them in a much more detailed way. And this also allows the students to always have the most up-to-date copies. They don't need to share flash drives or save their work and email it to each other. It always saves every time you type something, it automatically saves, and everybody who has the 
shared the document automatically has the latest copy. So this makes it really easy to either coach writers or to help students to work together in any subject, not just language arts. That way they don't have to worry about how to work together. They can just focus right in on the content and the learning, which is what we want, and the collaboration will happen naturally.